Certainly, we're tied into the national economy. So there are things at the national level or international level that could adversely affect us. I think as I look around the globe, I think if the Middle East flared up, especially an active shooting war between Israel and Iran, that would be detrimental to the national economy and obviously to our economy. Um, I think specifically here in North Carolina and things that policymakers can, can do something about, I think there's a lot of anticipation. I know the Locke Foundation is, is on top of this. A lot of anticipation about whether we're going to have some major structural changes to our tax system, state tax code. We have a tax code that essentially was written in the 1930s. For an economy of the 1930s, we're a much different economy now. Uh, in the 1930s, states weren't in such intense competition for business. Now they are. So I think virtually everyone that I talk to in the state agrees we need to change how the state raises taxes. The question is, change to what? And it looks like we're going to have a big debate about that. I'd also like to see some movement on changing perhaps the Medicaid program the state administers, maybe looking at what Florida has done to still provide services to, to customers, but perhaps have some, some incentives to be more uh, economical about doing that. And then I think third area, transportation, we do need to expand roads, we need, do need to, to uh, resurface roads. No one wants a higher gas tax, so we're probably going to have to move more toward tolling, uh, and maybe we'll see some activity there.